Hey, what's going on, folks? This is Consultronics. My name's Gray, and like Robbie Williams, I'm here to entertain you. But first, apologies to subscribers, both old and new, for disappearing these last few weeks. I came down with a touch of Colombian nose flu, if you understand what I'm saying. But enough about me. In this video today, I showcase some of the finest examples of shoot 'em up action you can find on the humble PS2. So let's kick off proceedings with an old school shooter given a new lick of paint. Gradius 5. As a keen admirer of the shoot 'em up genre and a long time fan of the Gradius series, it might come as a surprise to you that I was slightly apprehensive about the release of the fifth Gradius game, especially as I'd heard development of it was being handled by Treasure, a company known for their wacky console titles on previous generations. But I put my reservations to one side and picked up a copy because as a fan, it had to be done. And I can say right here, right now, that my fears were misplaced. Gradius 5 is a real highlight for the PS2. Treasure reined themselves in as much as possible and the trademark difficulty is still present front and centre. Vic Viper would be proud. Dodon Pachi is what we in the trade refer to as a belter. And Dodon Pachi Dai Ojo here is one of the better examples in a consistently strong series that started out in the arcades before being ported to systems like the Sega Saturn right up to the Xbox 360. It's the poster child franchise for the subgenre commonly referred to as Bullet Hell, where the object of the game isn't just to destroy your enemy, but look good doing it. Dodon Pachi Dai Ojo is a triumph of gameplay over graphics. Another golden oldie which wants to prove it can still boogie with the best of them now in the shape of Raiden 3. Now I'll be the first to admit I'm not as well informed about this series as I am with say Gradius, R-Type or others, but it's been mentioned to me more than once that that's something I need to put right. Although I have Raiden on the Atari Jaguar and Raiden Trad on the Mega Drive, I put off p picking up any more recent titles and for that I now hang my head in shame. In short, Raiden 3 is a no frills, solid step back in time to when the shoot 'em up was king and everything was right with the world. Most shoot 'em up fans, myself included, get all misty eyed and reverential when talking about certain games on primitive hardware such as the PC Engine and Sega Saturn. But Mushihima Sama on the PS2 seems to be quickly joining the ranks of games such as Sapphire and Radiant Silver Gun as a must in any true gamer's collection. And I'm not completely sure why. Yes, it's a fantastic game on a system with a finite but quality lineup of shoot 'em ups. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've been out of frontline collecting for too long, or maybe it's that it's everyone else that's gone mad. Mushihima Sama is good. Matter of fact, it's really, really good. But falls short of being truly great, in my ever so humble opinion. And I'm pleased to say we've saved what I consider the best to last with Thunder Force 6. Now I've been banging on for a long time about how the Thunder Force series has long been a personal favourite of mine and Thunder Force 6, in my opinion, is the best of all. Fast, frantic, addictive and with plenty of knowing winks in the direction of those of us who sat playing those early Mega Drive releases. The idea of a new Thunder Force game has been knocking about for a while, but if this PS2 exclusive is the last we'll ever see of the franchise, then the series leaves us on a high. As now do I. So thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, then why not like and subscribe, or tell me what PS2 shoot 'em up floods your boat in the comment section. So my name's Grey, this is Consultronics, and I'll have some new videos up soon. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.